On today's show, we have opinions about the BlackBerry Passport. A three-dimensional painting app you use with that Oculus Rift. And we look out the prettiest and most high-tech windows we've ever seen. Oh, 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 and we have your Photoshop. You guys did a bunch of crazy Photoshops. It's Daily Tomorrow. <laughs> Great. I think it's Tomorrow Daily. I think it's Tomorrow Daily. I'll get it next time. Greetings, citizens of the internet, and welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best tech talk show in the known universe. I'm your host, Ashley Skether. Joining me once again, Kayla Anonymous. Hello again. Hello, good sir. You got your Jurassic Park shirt on today. Oh, I'm going to get married in this shirt. He keeps showing us this, to a dinosaur. He keeps showing us this promo picture with, that says East Dock, and we're all we're getting all really excited Fun, about Jurassic follow World. Follow Colin Trevorrow on Twitter, and you'll get to see that they have. Uh, it's like a, it's a throwback to the original Jurassic it's the Park. The original island, you guys. Just, just, just don't freak out like a girl like me. That's the second That's the like, like a girl, girl thing. Two days in a row, Kale. Yeah, I'm sorry. But they're I'm all. I'm gonna punch you like a girl, all, which is still going to hurt very like badly. Everybody, look, I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a I'm just a weak person. Just it a has weak nothing to do with any sex. Person, like. yes, exactly. It's not gendered. All right. All that aside, we gotta hit the headlines. <laughs> okay, so Blackberry, I wanna know what you think of this because you're Joe Q consumer. Does you consume things? You like stuff. Uh, and this came out yesterday, and I am very curious as to what you guys think of it too. This is the Blackberry Passport. I hate it. Uh no. <laughs> This is what they look at the form factor of this or the chassis of this phone is like almost square. It's almost square, which is kind of nuts. Um, so this is the BlackBerry Passport. This is what BlackBerry is calling sort of their savior device. And we're going to talk about if it's enough to kind of keep them alive. This is meant for pure productivity kill. This device is meant for pure productivity. What does that even mean? It, it means that it's not really cut out for, you know, playing games, watching videos, like all the stuff you do on a multimedia device such as Android or iOS or even a Kindle, yeah. um, a Kindle Fire. So this is meant for getting stuff done, getting mm -hmm. ish done. That's what it's for. So this has a physical keyboard, as you can see. There's an actual keyboard on there. And then the screen is actually, it's square. It's 1440 by 1440. And it's meant for reading uh, to be very easy, very nice. I think they were saying something about in print, you want about 66 words a line, and this has like up to 40, I think, something like that, um, which I found very fascinating. They were inspired by print. Um, it's actually the shape of a passport. It's the same size. So oh, it's I get it. Four and a half inches by three and a half inches. Uh, again, the square screen, 1440. It's got really good specs, though. So if you're into specs, it, they're actually competitive, which is unlike previous BlackBerry devices that we've seen mm -hmm. um, in the smartphone genre, I should say. So this has a 2.2 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. It's got three gigs of RAM on board, which is the same as the Galaxy S5. So that's pretty nimble. Apparently, things tasks are very quick on this phone. Okay. It's got 32 gigs of storage on board with 128 gig expandable micro SD. Oh, wow. All right. And it's got Bluetooth 4.0, a lot of, you know, the premium features that you want to see. So there's a, there's a Galaxy S5 right there. Um, or even maybe that was the note. The note. Um, I, uh, I haven't I haven't seen both those devices in a while. So, but yeah, that's that's what it is. And so mm -hmm. is this going to be, it's $599 off contract. So 600 bucks out the door. And it's going to be available in the US. It's going to be available in the UK, Germany, France, Australia. What do you think? Do you think this is going to save BlackBerry? Do you think this is like, because a lot of people really like hold a torch for BlackBerry. There's people out there who love BlackBerry. They don't want to go back. Terrorists. No. But, no. Uh, so I don't care. You're, you're not a BlackBerry? <laughs> you're not a BlackBerry guy? Straight up, I just like, I'm bleh. You got, I got nothing. Well, do they have, I'm sorry, do they have, just to go off topic, do they have like a good app store? No, but you can have, you can side, well, here's the thing It's a game changer. But you can side load Android apps then. You can, you can get the Amazon apps and, and load oh, in Android Oh, good, you get apps. to make shift your way into some apps. Well, but the thing is, is this device is not really meant for apps. It's meant for productivity. So the BBM messaging, and then you have all the email, and then it's all very secure. So for corporate people, this might be a really good choice. Do, do I like this phone? I think it's mostly for BlackBerry users. It's not going to get me away from my device. i tell you what you got to do, BlackBerry. There's this technology where you can like uh, do like a projector. 
Like you can project. You can give PowerPoint presentations. That's with the business side of it. You know, I was going to say you can show like cool snowboarding videos or something, bro. But uh, I get that PPT. But I'm telling you, they need that. They need an edgy thing, like something way different instead of just being like, it's square now. Like, but all right. So, all right. So what's your, what's your angle? I think that. It's, a, it's an interesting device. I mean, it's surely something that will catch your eye if you see it. You're like, what is that thing? Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know. I, I know that in our review, we had uh, we had our reviewers on CNET take a look at it. And they said that even the, the device itself, even though it was smaller than, you know, a, a Note or a or iPhone 6 Plus, that it still felt more cumbersome to hold because of that because of that shape, the phone's shape is very strange to sort of type with. All you right, can't really use it. Long it's is extremely to fit in wide. Your hand. Yeah, it needs a little flag on the back that says "wide load." I think. Ah. Uh, but yeah, no, it's it's definitely kind of a weird device. But I could see where BlackBerry purists, people who, and now let me tell you, there are some of them in my Twitter feed. Like I'm sorry, they follow though. me. I'm sorry. There, you guys, I, you know who you are. You guys are hardcore about BlackBerry. Like they will never give up BlackBerry, and it's like I respect that. I respect that. Okay. So that's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, but that's what I that's what I think about the passport. I mean, I think it might do well, and if BlackBerry is really trying to get back to corporate and business use only, and to try to like say we're not going to try to capture you know the the hipsters who want iPhones and the the tinkerers who want Android. Like we just want people who want this for productivity, and that's it. Here's what we're giving you. Like maybe they'll get some people. I don't know. I feel like at least now they have a voice, and that's always a good thing. I don't feel like they're aiming towards people that wear Jurassic Park shirts or one the shirts that got in loot crates. You so might that's be right. Why I don't you really, might be right. Um, yeah. Do you want to do you want to tell me about your uh, your fancy painting? Right. Your I'm fancy like, Oculus painting? Yes, because I'm a huge fan of Oculus Rift just because I swear to God, every single day there's something cool that comes out. It's true. And I just can't keep up with it. But this one, you can paint in a three dimensional space. You make three dimensional art, not just this flat is crazy. art. And basically, you move it around. Uh, there's different brushes and colors. Um, but you can make it basically a three dimensional. It's like MS Paint, but in, in three dimensions. But you on can, Acid. Yeah, while you're. <laughs> this is like LSD. If you put MSK. on the Oculus Rift while you're on drugs, I don't think that's a good idea. But no, anyway, never. You can you can while you're using the Oculus Rift, you can like move it around. This, by the way, this isn't just on the Oculus Rift. It's just you're super duper cool if you do it. Um, if you're not, unfortunately, if you're listening to this audio pod, like a you podcast can't in the see. audio, you can't see how awesome it is. But this the is definitely video one of those is things. amazing. It's great. You rotate on it on its on its axis, and uh, yeah, it's. I mean, you really just I have to say that. I want this so bad. It's. I think this would be a lot of fun. I think they should bring this into classes. Yeah. And they should bring it to my house. Like this is really. This is. I like how you just threw technology. that in there really rude. Yeah, I should yeah. bring it to my house. <laughs> Check. Okay, this is the thing uh -huh. that totally blew my mind. Is like, okay, here's this spaceship sketch, and that's like, oh wow, like they're moving it around, and apparently there's a one-touch button that enables you to make images like this an animated GIF. Oh yeah, yeah. You can export it as an animated GIF. So Look, cool. Look, I ever since I went to, uh, I, I went to this um, Avatar thing when they were promoting the Blu-ray and they showed you the technology that uh, James Cameron used where you can kind of like navigate through a 3D world. They oh. built the world and then he had a camera, a virtual camera and walked around in it. This would be cool for creating that stuff. I would love that. Imagine, uh, you remember that movie, What Dreams May Come? Yeah. There you go. You, dr you make this beautiful it's painting world like a and light then you walk paint. through it in Oculus Rift, but you have to look like a complete idiot. But yeah. yeah. Well, and of course, like you have to have the what I call Oculus face. What's that? Where everyone's like this. Whenever you see pictures of people wearing Oculus, they're like this. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like looking like so I'm excited, Oculus looking like, slightly upward, and they're just yeah. got a big old smile on their face like, wow. Yeah, I think it's called Oculusing. Oh, is it uh, Oculusing? Uh, I, I like Oculus uh, Face. That's a, like Oculus what I, Face. Oculus yeah. Face. They're giving me Oculus Face, and I kind of love it. That's that is Oculus my favorite. Face. That's good. I like that. Give me That's your good. Oculus Adapt Face. That. Your best Oculus Face. <gasps> you guys should send us your tweets with Oculus Face. Everybody make Oculus Face. Everybody make an Oculus Face and send it to us on Twitter. Okay, are you ready for the third story? Yep. All right. I'm really dying to get to our crazy Photoshop. Yeah, the fans. Photoshops are coming. All right. Third story today is an art installation. I do love my crazy high-tech art installations. Yeah, this do. is one by a London-based Dutch artist and designer named Simon. I'm so sorry. I'm going to butcher your last name. Heijdens. 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 That cre uh, so it creates this really unbelievable play of light indoors based on what's going on outside. So these are 140 square meters of glass paneling divided into triangles. Wow. And each one of those triangles is coated with a special film. And this film changes opacity based on sunlight and wind. 
So as the what? sun, yeah, this is crazy. So as the sun moves through the sky during the day, the light shifts from really sharp in the morning to softer in the afternoon. So it, it, it knows like how harsh the light gets. And then, and then this is the crazy thing, wind blowing outside the building changes the individual cells from opaque to clear. Wow. So it, they, they flash really quickly as like the wind hits them. So he, he doesn't quite say exactly how it's done because he wants to keep his artsy secrets. But he says that he kind of describes it in the gallery that's showing it, describes it as an intelligent skin for the window panes. I want him to, instead of having them be triangles, to be the, the, for them to be music notes and then hook Ooh. up an audio thing so when it does it that, plays, it sounds like it plays music. It plays the weather. It plays the weather. You know, that's like a wind chime, cool. but like, and then it's With visually. <gasps> that's brilliant. I'm gonna, hey, dude, call me. Let's do art, all right? Let's, let's, let's do let's this. Let's art. Why are we just sitting here? Put on your Oculus face. Let's yeah. do some art. You could just draw that. You could really just make it in that app. I'm gonna draw it with like crayons. Yeah, Cr light crayons. I did you light up crayons. Light we could up draw like Ooh. Tron, Tron crayons. There's a lot of art in this. Uh, in this. There is a lot of art episode. in this. I don't. Speaking care. of art. Speaking of art. Well, wait. We have to take a break first. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't put the kale before the horse. Not the cart before uh, the horse. Yep, that's not a saying. We're gonna take a quick 30 second break. It is not a saying. And we will be right back with a round of Intuit and your wacky photoshops that are totally brilliant. So don't click away, we'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. Kale's rocking out. I love that intro music. This is so good. It's no turn down for what? It's not turned down for what? But it's But if we could get so little close. John on this show. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That would be so great. Um, okay, guys. Every week we like to talk about the things that we are super duper excited about. No sponsorships, none of that stuff. Uh, so this is into it. Into it. I'm pretty excited, so I'll go first. Okay, yeah, you've been talking about this all day. I have been. Okay, so I'm really into Loot Crate, and I've been into Loot Crate for a long time. I've been subscribing for a long time, and this month the crate was so good that I had to bring it in and show everybody. I feel like they're getting better and better. This month's crate was galactic-themed, and so I got a Tribble from Star Trek, which is delightful. Yeah, which, by the way, it says Star Trek Tribble, and then it says Loot Crate on it. Yeah, it's Did a you special that? little Loot Crate Tribble, which is pretty neat. And then I got uh, a little Mal. I have other, there's other stuff in the box, but I got a little tiny Mal from Firefly, a little m Firefly Mal. And then also from Firefly slash Serenity, I have some uh, Chinese uh, Firefly money, which is pretty awesome. So here it is, oh, so good, so good. And then uh, I also got some Pop Rocks. I got some Pop Rocks, delicious Pop Rocks. And uh, this really cool magnet that is Star Wars. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. cool. Yeah. And then I'm going to stick that right here for the rest of the show. Oh, yeah. And then I got an alien action figure. <laughs> I'm just really excited yeah. about it. Like, it's really dumb. Like, yeah, I'm like a little so kid cool. at Christmas. It's really exciting for me. And then lastly, one of my favorite things in here was um, a poster of Han Solo in Carbonite, which is pretty great. Do you do unboxing videos? Where are those? I don't know. No, I don't. I don't do unboxing videos because I don't like... I just I pay for it and then I get them and then that's it. Oh, just, how much is it? Twenty dollars? I think it's like fifteen plus like shipping. So yeah, it's just under oh, 20, nice. 20 bucks a month. Yeah, to this, get. this one was definitely worth it. It was super good. And the last one had a Groot. Heroes, yeah, they did a it Heroes a theme. They did a Heroes theme crate. Uh, they did like consoles. I actually got this shirt from a loot crate like a few months ago. It was at like, Console Wars. Here's my Console Wars. Look, that's an Xbox right there. Oh, there. You know what? There's little uh, the little Mies in yeah, there. Yeah, there's little Mies inside the gamepad. It's crazy. That's so cool. I really like Loot Crate. I think it's really fun. If you like feeling like you get a little present every month, like treat yourself. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Treat yourself. It tra like Loot Crate's a really good one. And I, like their crates do, seriously, because I've been subscribing for a long time, their crates really have gotten like taken it to way, way better, better yeah. than they were a year ago. Like a year ago, I got like a gumball and like a small, like it was all small stuff. And now it's like you get Funko Pop figures, you're getting like crazy, crazy yeah. stuff. Comic books. We got a Rocket Raccoon comic book last month. Really? Like, yeah, a bunch of really cool stuff. So I, I'm really into Loot. Did you go to so their party? Thanks, Loot Crate. So, nope, wasn't invited. Oops. Yeah. 
Uh, was it good? Did you have fun? It was amazing. They had uh, yeah, they had course. alcoholic ice cream that they'd make right on the spot, and it was like unique flavors. And then they had a whole like table full of candy. It was great. And then you got a loot crate, and there was like a Kogi truck. And they had a photo booth. How about you just uh, tell me what you're into so that I can stop being sad? Now. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm really into playing Grand Theft Auto online. Um, I play it, I do a live stream for it, you know. I've, I was played it with producer Logan for a while, and uh, I've actually, it would be kind of cool if he was here to talk about it, honestly. You're behind me, aren't you, Logan? I'm um, right here. Oh, uh, right. So we played GTA together we online, did. and it was insane because I invited a bunch of my fans on, uh -huh. and so it got nuts. Yeah, yeah. but I, I couldn't hear you throughout it because you had sent me a party invite, uh -huh. and uh, and I, I it, for some reason there was some problem and it wasn't able to connect, and then I wasn't able to get a hold of you because you were playing the game, right? And uh, and uh, I was trying to text you, but you didn't check. But here we are. Here we're playing right now. Yeah, um, we, it was just madness because we. Uh, this is you. You didn't I'm get on the there. motorcycle right, right there. I just, fall, I just fallen. You're you're a real jerk in Los Santos. <laughs> let me tell you. Did you fall off? No, no, no. I'm, okay. I'm shooting the cops for you, so I'm actually doing you. Oh, a you're solid, clearing. So. You're clearing the route. So yeah. I think I think in this one we we just decided we wanted to take this truck. Everybody hopped on. You're and driving. Drive up because we couldn't figure. Like we got in here and we just like our brains like just went fell off crazy. The motorcycle. Yeah. Crazy. Okay. So this is where we're we're trying to head to the pier. Yeah. And what's funny is so you. you you go to the drive to the end thinking you could just go off, and then everybody behind you is following you, and no one knows oh! that there's a fence. So there's all these like just cars piling up onto each other. But basically, we were reenacting the scene from Inception where the truck just smashes through things. Yeah, but the it train wasn't just smashes. Okay, this is the best part. Watch. Yeah. Okay, so off the clip because the realistic physics of tipping a truck back over. Yeah. So yeah, our main goal for this was to basically get this truck up onto the pier and then drive the drive the truck off of the pier. As you do. Yeah, As like do. like in those, all those like Honda commercials and stuff where they drive the car off the But we had more trouble than expected getting the truck up onto the pier. We're gonna do this again. I think we decided yeah. we're gonna pick a day and anybody that watches uh, uh, Tomorrow Daily can 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 get on here and, yeah. and, and play with us. Follow so. us on Twitter, we'll find it. But then also, I think maybe like, yeah, we'll try this for this weekend or something mm -hmm. like that. And, we, and you, can, uh, you can help us pick the, oh! Oh yeah, that that cleared the way. Yeah, yeah. So we had all these troubles. There was all these obstacles coming up. But then I think you finally ah, get up right here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then, so do you cut? This so is yeah, yeah. Cuts. So now, now uh, it's going to show me getting onto the truck, and we're going to get ready to just drive this thing straight off the pier. Um, and look, everyone else yeah. falls in line and yeah, gets there on. Yeah, there we go. And it's it's and one, there it goes. There we go. And here I go, just shooting people and falling oh, off. Oh, everybody uh, fell. Is that you? I like how that car just hits you and gives you one little push one off, little off the pier. One little push. And then you just sink to the bottom. But we had a really, really, really good time. I, I, I jumped in right anything. after, but you can't oh. see that from Kale's point of view, so. That's it. Yep, that's it. So, what are you, are you going to stay, you stay here? I think or? you're going to throw out a user feedback, and we're going to look at some Photoshops that uh, that our viewers sent us. All right, that's, that's usually Ashley. Uh, this is user feedback. <laughs> So basically, Logan, what I was we do at this? Stop doing that! Sorry. It's magic. Can you just you, you do your you television do it now. magic? Okay. Um, we, we're so kooky here uh, at Tomorrow uh, Daily. Boy, yeah, it's well, ridiculous. you never know what's gonna happen next. You never know. D D D get, sit down. <laughs> sit right. down. Sorry. We. Had, it's about you guys. User feedback's about you guys. Oh, this is my favorite user feedback so far. I think so because okay. this was Kale's idea because we got some amazing Photoshop from yeah, you guys. Yeah, I wanted to do this. I forced you. Yeah. To do to do this. Okay. Forced into servitude. So, so here's I. I've been trying to tell you guys to do Photoshop's. Uh, of of us. us or whatever, and ask and you shall receive. A bunch of you already sent so in true. some photoshops, and they're hilarious. They're pretty because good. you guys are amazing. So can we look at some so of them? One of our one of our fans who writes into the show quite a bit, Stefan, uh, wrote to us and says this. This is the infinity pool that we yep. saw from. Um, there was a chef that had written in and he took this picture. And um, man, look, we're in paradise. Was it? He took look the picture and flare. he put us in there. No, no, no. Okay. He, this is a different guy uh, from the guy who took the picture. But man, look at that. We're lens not even flare. in our bathing suits. I'm in a J.J. Abrams movie, is what uh, I'm in. Oh yeah, look at that. He added the lens flare. I feel like maybe That's yeah. That's crazy. I feel like maybe yeah. But if not, I mean, who cares? Like we yeah. just look amazing. We're wearing bathing suits on, at the bottom underwater. Yeah. Okay, so what's the next one? Uh, the next one is from Lon D, and he sent this in for the Bat Wars thing. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, wait, why do you get to drive? That's messed I up. I get to drive yeah. the Batmobile. So we're, we're on uh, on on Bespin? No. It looks like we're on Tatooine. Tatooine, Maybe yeah. Maybe Moss Eisley? Remember little Moss Eisley? Yeah, this kind of looks like the Star Wars Episode One. It kind of does. Well, that's our pod racer is the Batmobile. Oh, okay. That's what oh, it's got to be yeah. at. yeah. That's pretty cool. We totally, and we have another one? Yeah, we have, well, it's not, a, it's not a Photoshop of us. It's a Photoshop of... So James from the UK sent this in, and it was a picture of a praying mantis, and it says, the Escapa's on to us, don't panic. Because <laughs> I'm sort of convinced that praying mantises are, are bad are aliens. aliens. Yeah, yeah. I Look like at him, that. he's looking right at us. I you like can't convince Escapa. me that's not an alien. Look at yeah. that. Yeah. He's like this. He Look, he looks so surprised. He's like, <gasps> she knows. Like, that's how, it's. that's what I get out of that picture. Keep sending these in. This Please is do. This is my This is my segment. I created this segment. This, Kale's going to own so, this one. Yeah, so keep doing it so that I can show Ashley that I can make segments. It's kind of kind of the best. All right, let's uh, let's check out our phone photographer of the day. So this one comes from Keith B. Mm -hmm. And he says, I'm new to your show and I love it. Woo! I live in Carlsbad, California. Yeah, Where's that's where I'm close. Yeah, it's pretty close to where I was uh, grew up, grown up. I had grown up um, and recently returned from a trip to the Netherlands. I stopped in New York on the way back and in Brooklyn took this photo of the new sports arena. This is the Barclays Center, obviously. Oh. Along with me, it was a $400 Canon PowerShot S120. I ended up taking about 10 pictures on the Canon and about 100 photos on my iPhone. In this one, I put the camera in pano mode just to get a wide shot and then did wow. slight touch-ups in Snapseed. It's a really great picture. That really, really nice. is. Looks good. Yeah, makes me people go, from Carlsbad are really good at taking photos. Makes me want to go see the Nets, the Brooklyn Nets in there. Oh, yeah. Jay-Z's Jay -Z's team. No, it looks really good. Yeah, people are awesome at taking pictures. Like, much better than me. I always feel like I take weird, like, bad pictures. You take bad pictures? Yeah. We well, should have one. one photographer day where it's just like all your crappy, all like my blurry, off center. Yeah, all my horrendous pictures. Yeah, but Carlsbad, Keith B. they got a pretty good mall. Yeah. Get a pretty good mall. I just want to talk about Carlsbad. No, they well, they're close to the ocean. That's yeah, kind of nice. yeah. Close it's, to it's, San Diego. Uh, close they got a really. I uh, yeah, I got I got some stories. Some all right, Carlsbad some stories. crazy. I almost said one that was when really, you got wild. I was you like, it out I was Carlsbad. making out with a girl in, in like a park. And the cops had to come over and stop us. Making wow. out. That's it. Like it wasn't. It wasn't any funny business. That's one of my Carlsbad stories. Let mm -hmm. me know if you guys want to hear more of my terrible Cars, Carlsbad yeah, stories. Yeah, use the hashtag TD Carlsbad. Excuse me. You guys got to. Uh, you guys got to move along. We forgot to do the hashtag of the day for today, um, but that's okay because you know what? The, your job is to just Photoshop us into stuff. Do you want to make a pose really quick? It's TD. It's TD Twitch. Really. Okay. Okay. Okay, That's, we want you to tell us like okay. what you want to see Kale make twitching, but let's do a pose for photoshopping. You pose. Okay, you, you make a pose and I'll make one. Okay, okay go. go ahead. All right, there's your there's your thing. Do I just smell bad? That's actually. I don't know what we'll do. Maybe you I don't know. know. Maybe. So anyway. That is the show for today. If you'd like to send in your photography to be considered for a feature on the show, you can email us tomorrow at tnet.com. Uh, you can, of course, also send us questions, comments, feedback, whatever, whatever you want to send. Um, send us a link to your picture. Please don't send us attachments because that gets crazy. Okay, yeah. Um, and then uh, you can also find us all over social media. We're Tomorrow Daily on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Google Plus. We're Tomorrow Daily TV. Kill. Uh, I'm adding it. Kill. Where? Where can people find you on the internet? Uh, you can go to uh, Ello, the new social networking Ello. app. No, uh, youtube.com slash Kale Anonymous. Okay, and what's your Twitch channel so people know? Oh, it's twitch.tv slash Powerful Stream. Don't, powerful Stream. I also parked Kale Anonymous, but don't go to that don't one. Don't go there. Just go to twitch.tv slash Powerful Stream, and then we'll, if you keep watching the show, we'll pick a day that will always be on Twitch. It'll be really And me and fun. Logan will be on there. And, and even, maybe I'll show up, who knows? Yeah, but only if we're playing Diablo. Only if we're getting Carl's bad crazy. Might I Carl's bad crazy making out in the park and stopped by cops. Oh boy, this show, this show is bananas. You gotta watch it because you learn terrible things about us. It's true, it's true. You can use that against us when you blackmail us in five years. Anyway, that's it for the show, everybody. Uh, have a great weekend. Be good humans as always, and we will see you on Monday. Bye.